If you are a backend engineer tired of the fighting bugs and runtime errors, say hello to Gleam, the new language that makes waves in the dev community. Want to know how Gleam can level up your dev toolkit and future proof skills? Let's break it down. All right. So why should you as a backend engineer even care about learning a new language like a Gleam? Well, if you are done with dealing with endless runtime errors and want your code just to work, Gleam's got you covered. Here is the deal. Gleam was created by Louis Pilfold. It's a general purpose functional programming language running on the Beam VM, the same beast behind the Elixir and Erlang. But yes, the twist. While Elixir and Erlang are dynamically typed, Gleam is the statically typed and compiled. What does mean? Fewer bug, faster code, and whole lot less pain. Oh, but we are just getting started. Gleam isn't just about the static types. It's also a functional programming language. And if you know anything about the functional programming, you know it's like a magic for the reducing bugs and runtime errors in your code. But don't just take my words for it. Check this out. Yeah, you heard that right. 200,000 lines of code and just a one runtime exception in Elm, a functional language. Meanwhile, the JavaScript code crashed 60,000 times. That's the power of functional programming. This is why Gleam is a such a good game changer for the backend development. Less debugging, more building awesome features. So, why should you care about Gleam? First of all, minimal syntax, less is a more. Gleam syntax is a super clean and easy to learn. So, you won't spend hours trying to remember weird syntax rules. You are up and running fast. Then, there is a compiler. It's blazing fast and gives you the error messages that actually make sense. No more cryptic errors. The compiler is like, hey, you mess up here, but here is the exactly how to fix it. Next up, reliability. Gleam is all about writing fault tolerant code with the almost zero runtime exception. And guess what? No null values. Yep, say goodbye to infamous null pointer exception that hunt your dream. Now, let's talk about tooling. Gleam isn't just a language, it's a full package. Built-in formatter, check. Package management, check. It got everything to boost your productivity right out of the box. And if you ever stop, no worries. The documentation is a top tier. Every function is explained in detail with the example, so you never left in the dark. But there is a more. The Gleam community is one of the most inclusive you will find. Whether you are coding noob or pro, you will feel right at home. They made a inclusivity a priority and it shows. And the best part, Gleam compiles to JavaScript also and even generates a TypeScript definition. So if you are working in the JavaScript ecosystem, Gleam slides right in without any hassles. Now we have installed the Gleam. Let's jump right into the creating our first project. We will type in the command Gleam new to set up a new project. Boom. The project is created in the second. Look at the folder structure. Nice, clean and everything is ready to grow. Now let's open the main file. Write a quick program to show off the Gleam goodness. We will start importing the Gleam IO module so we can print things out. Then we are going to define a custom type called fruit with this three variant, apple, banana, and lemon. We are also create a function called taste that tells us to which each fruit taste is like using a case expression. Simple, clean, no fuss. Now let's jump into the main function. We will create a fruit type of banana and get it the taste description by calling a taste function and print that out. And here is the final code how looks like. Alright, now the moment of the truth, let's run the command gleam run and see in the action. Boom. The test of the fruit is sweet and soft, just like that. We got a fully working program written in the gleam. Quick, easy and clean. Now you are one step closer to building a next WhatsApp. 
except with the way fewer bug and lot of less frustration. We need a complicated syntax when you go to Gleam. So if you are ready to make it coding life easy, go check it out Gleam. And for more tech goodness, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.